Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to install uh, Visual Studio Code and prior to that I will install .NET 8 and also I will show you how to install uh, C Sharp uh, uh, SDK in your Visual Studio Code so that you can write C Sharp programs. Uh, I, in the end, I will uh, write two programs. One will be the, one will be the default uh, uh, Hello World program which uh, we will run it using Visual Studio Code and second I will create a factorial program using C Sharp and uh, then run it. So that's the intention of uh, this video. So please uh, watch till the end. And if you like the video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So uh, let's start with uh, installation of .NET 8 first. So you go to your search engine and then there type .NET 8 install. So click on this link here. So you will see uh, different types of uh, you know SDKs here so based on your operating system so select uh, the appropriate link so mine is a windows uh, system so I am clicking on this 64 x64 link okay because it is a 64-bit windows operating system installed so once you do that it will download uh, the dotted SDK so once, once it is downloaded you just install this SDK now the SDK has been downloaded on my system so I'm going to install it so go to your downloads folder and uh, double click uh, the executable so when you double click it you will get a window like this so click on install it will ask for a permission so and then uh, it will install the SDK in the system so now the installation is successful so close this window in order to verify this go to command prompt and here type .NET hyphen version which will show you the latest version so the latest version installed in this system is 8.0.101 right so that is the latest version you can also do if you want to see all the previous versions or whatever uh, whatever else with respect to .NET framework or .NET uh, uh, runtime is installed on your system then what you can do is .NET hyphen hyphen info and that will give you all this information okay so it is uh, every uh, .NET related thing whatever installed in your system it will show you all those things yeah all the SDKs that has that has been installed all the runtimes that has been uh, in my system so all these things are shown here okay so you can see the detailed picture so uh, now dotted 8 is installed so the next step is to install visual studio code so again go to your search engine and type download visual studio code so click on this link here and here again you will find uh, different links based on your operating system so i am going to uh, so use this windows link now click on this button and here it will take you here and then it will start downloading it okay so you can read uh, so there are some basic things if you have if you are new to visual studio code so you can uh, go and read read these things there are a lot of there's a lot of in, in uh, you know informational uh, things here so you can uh, learn about those things here so now visual studio code uh, uh, exe has been downloaded so double click this so here accept the agreement click on next button here you can leave it uh, uh, default okay or if you want to do some changes you can do it if you don't want a desktop icon and check this but i want a desktop icon so i am checking this so like this you can customize but i will say leave it uh, default now next and then install so now the visual studio code has been installed we can launch it we can finish it will launch it or you can go to start and then you can type visual studio code here and you can also launch from here okay. so now visual studio code uh, has opened and you can see a uh, you can see a welcome page like this so the next step is to install the extensions uh, so go here and click on this button here so here let it refresh and then you go and select C sharp dev kit okay so select C sharp dev kit install now C sharp dev kit has been installed 
and as part of this dev kit it, it has installed few other things as well like c sharp uh, .net uh, install tool intellicode so all these things has been installed as part of c sharp dev kit now go to your explorer and here uh, we have to create a new project so go to file and open folder so wherever you want to uh, create your project you go to that folder so in my case it will be desktop and here i want to uh, create a new folder so i am creating a folder called as demo app and here within this let me select this so now uh, now the folder which i have created i have selected that in my visual studio code now go to view and terminal so now i have to create a project so type .NET new console so now it has created a project so click the project this project file here and you can see it is created based on .NET 8.0 framework all right now go to program.cs you can see some default code added here which is called as hello world okay so this code will write hello world to our console now let's run it so type this command dot net run Now you can see hello world has been printed to the console so which means this project program has been executed so uh, we can change this a bit to ensure that this is getting reflected in uh, in our console right so let's say hello viewers and then let me save it and go back here Type the command again in the terminal so you can now see the text has changed to hello viewers so that's how you uh, write a simple CSA program uh, using this console project now our next step is to uh, create a uh, factorial uh, program so in order to do that uh, let's use the same project or you can create a new project in my case I will create the I'll use the same project so let's uh, types uh, we have to write some code so let's uh, do that so int x So first i am declaring here all the variables that i am going to use uh, in my program so i need a x a factorial and a num so i am writing all those things you can give whatever name you you want but we need three integer variables okay that can be used i can also declare it in the same line uh, just, but just for uh, you know for this demo i am creating three different uh, i have write, written three different lines but i can also using a, a comma i can separate these uh, variables in a single line as well okay so console dot right or right line enter any number so this is where the console will ask you to enter a number and then whatever number you are entering that has to be stored uh stored in a in a variable so 
So whatever number uh, you are entering, that will be stored in a variable. That variable is called as num. So I am going to uh, pass the uh, whatever you are entering so that you don't enter anything other than an integer. So int dot parse will be used here. Console dot read line. So at this step, the console will wait for your input. So once you have entered the input, hit the enter button and then that variable variable will get stored at in the num variable. Whatever you have entered, the number will store will be stored in the num variable. So then we have to create a loop. So for loop, I will use the variable x here. So x equal to one. It is a standard program, very popular program. So uh, uh, so you can. Uh, you can easily find examples of this program, uh, but the technique is same. So factorial multiplied by the number, which is x. So console dot right. The factorial of num is the, uh, is the number that you have entered so we want the factorial of that so factorial of num the factorial variable will have that uh, final number yeah so that's the uh, that's the program and uh, what we can now do is we can uh, run this program and we'll see if uh, the output is uh, is appearing correctly or not so go back to your terminal and then type dot net run okay i'm getting an error here so perhaps i need to initialize it so i have to initialize this factorial variable so initialize it to one and then dot net run Okay, I think I have made a mistake here. So it should be less than equal to. Yeah. So something different. So now it should be 120, right? So factorial of 5 is 120, which is correct. So the now this works correctly. So you can verify it. So you can go here. Factorial 5. is 120 right so we are also getting 120 so so that is the uh, correct answer so that's what uh, i wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial so hope you have found it useful uh, so as i mentioned earlier so if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching